Hello fellow Cancers, welcome in. This Psychic Terror reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are always welcome. Welcome fellow Cancerians, hope you're doing well. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. <laughs> In the past, we have the moon. You're ruled by the moon. It feels like you have in the past been exploring, you were exploring in the past the dark side of the moon, your unconscious shadows. It feels like it feels like things were very confusing. Feels like there's a lot of emotions, repressed or suppressed emotions. It looks like in the past with the strength in reverse that your emotions got the best of you. Feels like, feels like you're not really understanding how to work with your emotions feels like you're uh, maybe afraid of your emotions. You're allowing fears to govern you. Feels like there's a lot of insecurities. I get the feeling, Cancer, that people have made you feel bad about yourself because of your emotions. Feels like a lot of like, you're too sensitive. True, I'm getting, yes, but it doesn't feel like anybody's taught you how to utilize your emotions in a way that works for you. And so it feels like you're just trying to suppress and hide your emotions. Yeah, you don't know how to work with your emotions, how to heal the wounds that you've gone through. Wow, and so it makes you susceptible for people who are taking advantage of your unhealed wounds. Feels like they're making you feel bad, like you're too much for having these emotions. Feels like these are the people closest to you who are taking advantage of your woundedness. They like your positive emotions. They like your emotions that you bring, but only when it it um, it works for them. There's something here about not realizing your own strengths. Feels like you're trying to fit in. And it looks like feels like you're um, being taken advantage of by players, player type of energy, people that come in with all that fire to your water and it creates steam. But it, it looks like you don't value yourself. You don't see your strengths as strengths because maybe they're not yet. Maybe your emotions get the best of you in the past feels like you're settling for someone who's inconsistent, who expects you to sacrifice yourself in connections. All right, Cancer. In present energy, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone not learning a new way of being. Someone who can't connect the dots in a different way. They're very stuck in their original perception. Interesting. Yeah, this, so whoever this is, there's someone who doesn't learn, but they're strategizing, they're making some type of plan this is someone, they're showing up as a page of pentacles in reverse. This feels like someone who should be much more mature than a page, 
but they're they just it feels like they just repeat patterns they don't learn anything new but whoever this is that doesn't learn anything new they're making some type of plan it's a timing thing they're trying to create justice they want to invest in you, invest in the relationship. They have a lot. It feels like they're coming in with a lot of impassioned communication. With the lovers reversed, either this is someone that you don't choose or someone who you broke up with, someone who used to be a lover in the past feels like this person's coming in with a lot of communication, like um, emotional, impassioned kind of communication. Right off the bat, I'm getting with Page of Pentacles in reverse, this person has not learned a new way of being. So they're trying something. Feels like this person's very good at convincing you with their emotions, with their emotional pleas. They're trying to find justice for themselves. They want you to invest in them. They want, they're trying to get you to communicate with them. Okay, this person is very upset, Five of Cups in grief you're showing up as the high priestess in this energy this person just doesn't want to be alone with hermit reverse it feels like this person is feeling very alone feels like you um, in the past it feels like the same person or similar energy someone who was a player someone who expected you to sacrifice yourself to sacrifice everything for this relationship for them but they're inconsistent and they don't give anything back that they expect from you they're not returning the favor and it, so it looks like this person's coming in You're so intuitive right now with the High Priestess. Um, it feels like you would perceive them before they get to you. Feels like they would start showing up in your energy and your thoughts, like they're uh, first trying to get into your energy. This person does not want to be alone. They're feeling very hopeless and they see you as, um, their sunshine their happiness but the way the sun card showing up it's not this version they don't see you as this they see you as that i think you see yourself as that with this person not fully capable of being free and happy but somehow behind guarded and behind a wall this person's idea of happiness is to have you to have you, to own you. Not to treat you correctly and meet you equally, but they, they feel entitled to own you and your happiness. Make me happy, Cancer. I don't wanna be alone. I know I've broken, um, got the higher font in reverse. It feels like a broken contract star reversed hopelessness desperation this person's desperate they don't want to be alone but it feels like they've broken a contract with you an agreement this could have been an end of a, a marriage a marriage contract that ended maybe with a third party five of swords queen of wands in reverse and her back turned where is she there she is. And then five of pentacles reversed. This person wants 
it feels like this person either abandoned you in the past for a third party. They wanted to win at any cost, but now they don't want to be abandoned by you. What's the win at any cost? It feels like this person might have gone to somebody else and now they don't want to be alone. It feels like if they had a third party, this third party is brutal. They, they're, this Queen of Wands reverse operates in Five of Swords energy. They want to win at any cost. <clears throat> Not a very loving energy. Feels like this person's feeling very abandoned. Even abandoned and manipulated and hurt by the third party. Anything that we need to know about the third party energy? Small child reverse. Did your did this person have a child with this person? False person. Whoever this is, they're a false person. They're very fake. Yeah, it feels like this person chose poorly. They chose someone false, someone who's willing to win at any cost. Actually, that's kind of their energy. They, it looks like they chose a third party who was a lot like their energy, who mirrored their own energy. And it feels like they're, they've realized or they're realizing that this is not a good match. They might be similar energies, but neither of them want to give to a connection. They just, they both are wanting. Interesting. All right, Cancer. What's hidden is the Seven of Pentacles. Someone's focus, someone's investing. This feels like your energy. It feels like wherever you focus your attention, that energy grows. So if you focus on a person, they grow, they expand, they become abundant. I think it's important that's why this is hidden. It feels like that's what you've been discovering about yourself, that you have beautiful energy, lovely beautiful nurturing energy and whoever and whatever you focus on it expands it grows and so it feels like you've pulled your energy from this person and it, i get the feeling that people have taken advantage of your kindness of your generosity of spirit and they've just expected and felt, in, felt entitled to your energy and your giving nature. When you decide to pull your energy away and stop investing in people and situations and you take your energy back, it feels like what I'm perceiving here is the luck, the abundance, the love, the care, the amazing energy that they were feeling was yours, Cancer. And when you pull your energy away and take it with you, then all the luck and joy and resources and intuition goes with you. That's what's hidden. This person, it feels like they thought that they had your energy in the past and they did. And they were being uplifted and filled with your beautiful energy. And so they were growing and expanding. But it looks like they forgot that that beautiful energy was coming from you. 
and when you took your energy with you so went the abundance the joy the happiness the resourcefulness the joie de vivre so anything else cancer needs to know about what's hidden this person might come in uh even to fight with you just to get some of your attention look at me if they can't woo you they'll fight to get your attention to pull your focus towards them my candles spilling <laughs> that's interesting feels like this candle was the the wax was pouring out in the candlelight the fire was getting stronger out of control and it feels like that this person i've been tuning into as well everything's falling apart falling out there's this fire that they have but there's it doesn't feel like anybody it doesn't feel like you're investing in this person it feels like you've learned enough from the lessons with this person feels like this person gave you nine of swords a lot of lies and deception and manipulation to keep you stuck in a comfort zone feels like all these swords that this person created in your life were limitations fears feels like this person thought thought and thinks a lot of themselves they're very egotistic and they project their limitations and fears onto you so maybe in the past you believed some, those fears we started with the strength card in reverse and the moon card in the past maybe you you did think that these limitations uh, were about you whatever this person told you about you projected onto you it feels like limitations to keep you small to keep you tolerating and sacrificing yourself and perceiving them as amazing and you as small whereas proof in the pudding with separation and you taking your energy and them taking their energy there's nothing here for this person this person is receiving the justice that they deserve that they've created feels like part of the justice coming through in this current energy cancer is that you now realize the truth of how powerful you really are how loving how amazing your energy is and you're not going to give your energy your attention to anybody who doesn't value you or appreciate you and know how to show that all right cancer the advice and outcome is six of pentacles in reverse no blessings coming in not investing in someone it feels like you're not investing in someone who's emotionally immature someone who refuses to change it would be a bad investment because it feels like who and why you invest into people and situations is for expansion for growth to grow things abundance that looks like what your energy does you pour into people and situations and the it's amplified it grows it expands i think you're recognizing the value of your attention and your focus and not to invest and who to invest in and who not to feels like more importantly who not to invest in 
not thinking about them, not talking about them. It feels like people who treat you like an option are not an option for you. And this person feels like they're down on their luck, feels like, um, feels like they can't get anybody's attention. This is someone who would block you if they could. If they could take your energy and block you, they would do it. It feels like this person has done that to you. This person does not care for you or about you. This person feels very comfortable in creating blocks for you. But somehow they're coming in and wanting to convince you to invest in them is kind of the energy that I'm getting. So, all right, Cancer, hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day.